Hello everyone, welcome to Castro Squad. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to change your background color on Adobe Premiere Pro. So before I start my video, please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon button. So let's start the video. So first open you your Adobe Premiere Pro. And uh, here you can see black screen. So just go to new item. And here click on color mate. Here width height. Just click OK. From here you can select any color. So I select blue color. Click on this and uh, click OK. So here enter your selected color. So I select blue. So I enter blue. OK. So here you see blue color again goes to just this drag and drop here and goes to new item click on color mate click ok and uh, here select any other color so i select red color click ok here enter red your selected color and uh, again drag and drop so here If you want cross dissolve, so just click on effect and here goes to video transitions, goes to 3D motion and you click on dissolve and here click on apply this cross dissolve in between these two images. So here cross dissolve apply. So if you want to close this, just click on editing. Now play this video and here you can see after applying cross dissolve it looks good. So if you want to enter any text so just click on this and here enter your text any text as you want. So here text color is white and by clicking this you can change the size of your text and move on screen anywhere. So now goes to text. Here from here you can change any style just clicking on this. So I click on this and here you can see my text style is change. You can select any design and from here you can increase or decrease the size of your text. And uh, from here you can change your text color. Now text color is white so click on this. And from here you can select any color for your text. So I click on black and click OK. So you see text color is changed into black. If I select red color, so you see text color is changed into red. So I again change into black color. OK. So if you want to change your stroke color, stroke mean outer line of your text. So now stroke is white. From here you can select any color for stroke. So I select red. Here you see outer line of text is red. So if I select pink color, OK. And here you see outer line is pink. So now I select white color. So here stroke color is changed into white. If you want background for your text, so just check this. And here you see background. So by clicking here and moving, you can dark or light your background. So if you want shadow, 
for your text. So just check this. And from here, by moving this, you can increase or decrease the shadow in text. So scroll down. Here you see all settings for this text. Scale, position. You can change this scale by changing values. You can also change the position of the text from here. So if you want your text on both images, then drag this. So now play this video. And here you can see the text on both images. Again playing video. And you see it looks very good after applying cross dissolve. So for export this just goes to file export click on media. And from here you can select any one so I select full HD 1080. So export this and here you can see after exporting so guys if you like my video please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon button see you in another interesting and informative video take care bye bye